Today I am here with an upright Yamaha piano and this model is the U3 and it comes in the wood finish called American Walnut. Now this is an actually pretty cool piano and I believe this is the tallest piano that Yamaha makes at 52 inches. There are several models that they make that are 52 inches like the YUS5 and the YUS7 and the U3 also happens to be 52 inches which makes it in the category of a vertical grand piano. Now if we take a look at the inside of the piano we can see a few interesting things. First of all the harp is kind of like a goldish green color which I don't see all that often and that's kind of interesting. We also have a Yamaha badge that says Made in Japan underneath of it, so this piano was indeed made in Japan, which helps explain why it is a very nice piano. We also have a practice pedal here that we can push down and lock to the left, which puts a layer of felt in front of the hammers to make it really quiet so that you can practice very quietly without having to play it very quietly, which is a nice feature. And we also have a little interesting damper right here. Now, the reason this is here is because this note uh, the string is very long and the smaller damper down below isn't quite enough apparently to completely mute the note immediately. So since Yamaha can't extend the length of the damper below it because there's a damper right here, they have uh, attached an additional smaller damper to the top of the uh, other damper so that the note will dampen completely. The dampers down here are much longer, probably at least twice, if not three times the length of these smaller ones up here. So that's why these dampers down here don't have a smaller little adjustment, a uh, little extra damper tacked onto them. The uh, piano does have a little lid prop. This top lid will fold down and then there's a lid prop on that corner of the piano. And I think that's about all there is to talk about on the inside of the piano. If we take a look at the uh, front of the piano here, we have a little music desk which has little pegs that fit into holes is a very common feature on pianos that it makes it lock in place. So then when you go to close the lid, it doesn't flop down and smack into the keys and make a bunch of noise and possibly damage something. Another nice feature about this piano, again, quite common in the piano industry, is the soft fall uh, lid um, softball fallboard, which I don't think I've ever uh, showed off in a video, but I'm sure many of you are familiar with that feature. This here is the mechanism of some sort, it must be hydraulic or something, that helps it uh, slowly decompress and gently lower the lid down. It also looks kind of cool with the lid down because it's got this interesting angle here that goes up into the piano, and I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's kind of cool. So by now you're probably interested in what the piano sounds like, so I'm going to first start off by playing one of my original compositions that I wrote to help test out pianos. It starts off in the treble, works its way down to the bass, and it's a pretty decent uh, song at testing out the piano. And after that I'll also play another one of my original compositions called Things That Make You Stronger, which is a bit louder and faster piece, and will also help demonstrate a different side of the U3. The sound quality on this piano is very nice. I like the treble, it's very clean. In fact, the whole piano overall has a very clean sound to it and it's a very nice sound. Now let's play something a bit louder and more exciting with my original song, Things That Make You Stronger.
So hopefully you enjoyed that performance of my uh, my two original songs, and let me know what you thought of this piano uh, down in the comment section below. Now I personally think it's a pretty nice piano. Now as you can hear, the bass of this piano is not going to be as warm and rich as on a real grand piano because this is only an upright. While it is one of the taller uprights, especially that you can buy in today's market, taller uprights have been made in the past, not so much today. The bass I think could use a bit of improvement. I think it could be a bit warmer maybe. Maybe the hammers could use a bit of voicing, but really it's nothing huge and major. There's anything wrong with the piano, and overall the sound of the piano is very nice and it plays very well. I didn't have any difficulty doing any trails or really fast movements, so I think the action is pretty good. And overall, I do like the look of the piano as well. This walnut is quite nice and the, uh, the shape of the piano is pretty cool. And it has nice features like the practice pedal, the soft fall, um, fall board, and uh, it's pretty cool. So once again, let me know what you thought about this piano down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your feedback on stuff. And also, if you want to know where I found this piano, I'll put the store's information down in the description of this video. So if you want to come see it for yourself, you can. So thanks for, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. You can go check out my channel. I've got lots of videos on Yamaha pianos and other uprights and Yamaha grands and all kinds of stuff in between. So you can go check all that out. If you want to subscribe, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.